T-minus one minute and count. Forty-nine. T-minus forty-five seconds. Table at step three. D minus 30 seconds. 20 seconds for this one. Roger. Status check. Go out. Let's go to the turn. 20. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition and liftoff of the Atlas V with Juno on a trek to Jupiter, a planetary piece of the puzzle on the beginning of our solar system. Picture roll program is in progress. Vehicle body rates look good. Mr. P, that's going to fix it. Mr. Peak chamber pressure set plateaued. I'm rolling off. Signatures look good. RD-180 operation. Mach 1. SRB chambers continue to roll off. Max Q. Boosters throttling up. We're on schedule. Engine response looks good. Booster P is going to close loop control. Looking for our SRB throttle down momentarily. Engine continues to operate well. Throttle back. Paid for SRB burnout soon. Extreme repressors have plateaued on SRBs. And we begin to roll off. And load has been satisfied. The vehicle is starting back up full thrust. We have solid one, two, three, four, and five jettison. Visual no indication that all solids are separated well. And the booster has a good managed roll for spacecraft thermal constraints. Rates look good. Plus, better voltages are stable. And the vehicle is now going into closed loop steering. And the booster view is also in closed loop control. Engine response looks good for the second next ratio. Current altitude is 45.8 miles in altitude, downrange distance 69 miles, velocity 5,413 miles per hour. Coming up on our RCS pyro valve activation, it is now fired. Systems now pressurizing the flight levels. We've begun our two and a half G throttle segment. Engine response looks good. Current altitude is 60 miles in altitude, downrange distance 118 miles. Velocity is 6,983 miles per hour. Coming up on our next mark event will be payload frame jettison followed by CFR jettison. And we have payload frame jettison and CFR jettison. Boosters throttle back up the full thrust. Engine response is good. Now accelerating at 4.7 Gs as we work our way to our 5G throttle segment. Boost space 
cruise on is underway. Now, now throttling to maintain 5 Gs. Pogo pyro vent has been fired. And the gun throttling to 4.6 Gs in preparation for Vico. The space cooldown is complete. We have Vico engine shutdown looks good. We have retros and stage separation. We have locks and fuel pre-start. RCS GN2 purge is underway. underway. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL10. Centaur closed loop steering has been enabled. Small, small body rates associated with closed loop steering. Vehicle tank pressures are being ramped down as expected. Centaur PU has been commanded to oxidize the rich fixed angles for the early part of this six minute and two second burn. Current altitude is 112 miles, downrange distance is 589 miles, velocity is 14,318 miles per hour. Range track shows the vehicle right down the middle of the corridor, making excellent progress. Center tank pressures are very good at this point. They are holding expected levels. Storage bottle pressures are as expected. Plus some battery voltages look good. Declare the signal. We're seeing our Centaur is now operating in closed loop view control. However, it continues to request an oxidizer rich condition as it works off the excess oxidizer. Our old 10 engine operation looks good as we have a momentary loss of data. And we have resumed Centaur, Centaur telemetry. Uh, at this uh, point, the, the MDU, MDU format change should have occurred. Also, signal, also here, signal at here at the Cape and, and, and Jupiter Inlet. Inlet. And Tigua now with data. The RL10 continues, continues to operate very well. Current, Current altitude is 134 miles. miles. Downrange distance, distance is 1,081 miles. miles. Current velocity is 15,339 miles per hour. And we're seeing another RCS thermal conditioning firing as the line temperatures warm towards bottle temperature. Signatures look good. Centaur continues to request an oxidizer rich condition. With a little over two minutes remaining in this burn, all Centaur systems look nominal. RCS 
RCS line RCS line temperatures have now warmed to bottom temperatures as expected. Our old tent continues to operate well and in oxidizer rich condition. Sent our mass error is approximately 500 pounds. One minute to Miko. All Centaur systems, systems continue to look excellent. Continue to look excellent.